Heard you're an expert on trust. I have a living trust. What else should I do to protect myself? Wow, Tony, you're right. You're right. I've actually been uh, using trusts uh, since about 1983. I've been teaching trust since about 1985 and absolutely positively love, love, love trust. I think that's the best entity on the planet, bar none. It gives you things that other entities can't do. Now, if you've got a living trust, you already know that one of the benefits of a living trust is that it can avoid probate. So if you've properly funded that trust, that means you've deeded the property into that trust, then that trust can avoid probate. But my favorite trust is called a land trust and a personal property trust for the average person. That is an ideal vehicle because the land trust allows you to put each property into its own trust and for, uh, for not only estate planning, but for asset protection. So separating and segregating your assets from one another so that they are not impacting one another. If there's a lawsuit, you see, that's one of the things about an LLC or a living trust. Somebody could sue that one entity and potentially get everything in that entity. So what we teach you to do is to put each asset in its own trust and then think about vehicles. Your vehicles can be in their own trust. Your bank account can be in its own trust. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, they can be in their own trust. So we're separating everything out and that living trust that you got, Tony, that can be the beneficiary of all those individual trusts. So if you want to add on asset protection to the estate planning provided by that living trust, that's exactly what I would do.